Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the relationship between analog and digital filter poles in impulse invariant transformation, that is, the relationship of S plane to the Z plane. So, let us define the analog poles. Analog poles are given by the roots that are the terms S plus Pi, where I ranges from 1, 2, 3 to the n. And the digital poles are given by the roots of the term 1 minus e raised to minus p i t z raised to minus 1. So here also i ranges from 1 to n. Now we can say that the analog pole at s is equal to minus p i is transformed into digital pole that is z is equal to e raised to minus p i t. So we can consider this as a digital pole when s is equal to minus pi. So now we can put minus pi is equal to si in this equation. So we will get z is equal to e raised to si t. Now we know that si is a point on s plane. Let us draw the s plane. The s plane will be given with the coordinates and we will divide the s plane into right half plane and the left half plane. Now we can see that the coordinates will be j omega i, this point will be s i and the y axis or we can say this is j ohm and the another is sigma. So it will be sigma i. So these are the two coordinates. Now let the coordinates be sigma i and j ohm i. So the s i will be equivalent to sigma i plus j omega i. Now we will substitute again in this equation. So now we will get z is equal to e raised to sigma i plus j ohm i the whole into t. We can expand this term like e raised to sigma i into t and e raised to j ohm i into t. So now you can see that z i is a complex number. Even if it is a complex number, it can be always expressed in polar coordinates. Polar coordinates consist of the magnitudes and angle. Zi can be written as Zi, that is this magnitude and angle of Zi. Now we will see that how we will express this as magnitude. So comparing these terms to these terms, we will get that Zi, that is the magnitude, is equal to e raised to sigma i t and the angle will be equivalent to this. These are the actual conditions where we get the magnitude and the angle. So three observations can be made. First observation is like, consider sigma i is less than zero. Now in this condition, less than zero means negative. So analog pole si will lie on left half of s plane. In this case, then zi will also be less than one. Hence, the corresponding digital pole Zi will lie inside the unit circle. You will see this, how it will lie inside the unit circle, outside the unit circle. Then the second condition would be sigma i is equal to 0. That is real part is obviously 0. Then analog pole Si will lie on the imaginary axis of S plane. In this case, Zi is equal to 1. Hence, the corresponding Zi will lie on the unit circle of the z plane. Now third that is last consider if sigma i is positive that is greater than 0 then the analog pole si will lie on the right half of the plane. So in this case z i will be greater than 1 and we can say that z i will lie outside the unit circle. So we will see this terminology by taking some diagrams. So we will do mapping of any point that is from s plane to the z plane. So let us see that. 